We heard today she will not be able to make it to the U.S. Open. And, of course, Roger Federer will not be there as well. Two of the legends of the game. One 40 years old, one about to turn 40. And just look at these numbers. The titles, 43 Grand Slams, 11 U.S. Open titles between them. So, you know, this is, Nico, I think, clearly going to be a big part of the story. We don't want it to be the entire story in New York because there's a lot of good tennis to be played. But when you look at Serena, let's start with her. She's trying to get that 24th. She's had amazing success in New York, six titles, seven, of course, at Wimbledon. But was New York, did it feel like to you maybe it was her best chance to find that 24th, given it's her home slam? Well, this year, of course, she missed so much tennis the last season going into the French Open that she was gearing towards New York. Her best chance for me was at Wimbledon, theoretically, but she was not ready physically because she had not played enough tennis. So she was gearing up in order to get to New York in that best chance situation. The problem is the pressure. I think that in New York she feels it too much. Remember 2015, she had that semifinal loss to Vinci. She just gets too nervous. The pages of guests are, are just too long. She has a lot of people and she has a lot of responsibility with herself. She just feels the pressure a lot in New York. So I, I would feel that if she manages to come back, her best chance is at Wimbledon. Yeah, you know, John, I mean, Serena's had an interesting history in New York. Yeah, it, it's been a, uh, for, for 20 plus years now, um, it, it has been a textured history. Sometimes there have been some, some tremendous highs. I mean, the Reason uh, we have a women's final and no Super Saturday, in part is so Venus and Serena can play each other in prime time. Uh, we, we've also had some of uh, the, the lower moments and more complicated moments of her career. It would be nice if she had some sort of send-off. I mean, the one thing I think Serena needs now is matches. And it was not, not a big surprise today's announcement, but even if she had decided to play, it would be really hard to see her sort of parachuting in, not having played a single match since Wimbledon, and doing real damage here. So I think we all are sort of, we, we understand the reality here. We understand age. We understand how father time works. I think we're all sort of holding out hope that Serena Williams continues on. It would be nice if she got the grand send off she deserves in New York. But I think more than anything, she needs consistent matches because unfortunately the days of her sort of parachuting into a major and winning, which she was able to do in her 20s and even her early 30s, I, I think we're all pretty much uh, in agreement. Th those days are no longer uh, with us.